faces empty of people. I knew last night was cold. Cold, freezing cold. Wow. Karoo is cold. Woohoo! Cold, cold, cold. Really cold in the Karoo. Be advised. inside okay so this is the gate to the game viewing area there's a, a couple of trails that you can walk 
one it's very interesting is the fossil trail there are several routes in the park and uh, this is the first one that you find when you're leaving the reception area it's called the Potankerki Loop it is open to all types of vehicles and it's some 45 or 47 kilometers this area seems to congregate a lot of animals there are zebras, ostriches, hemsbok, uh, springbok all together in the same area You can see the difference of the animal behavior here and the animals at Tanquakaru. See how close they let me get from them, no more than 10 meters from me. Such a beautiful place. Interestingly, the zebras here are not the Borchel zebra, which is the usual that you see everywhere. Those are the Cape Mountain zebras. Looks like a bat-eared fox. Yeah, those are big ears. Huh? The name fits him perfectly. And that far on the horizon are the mountains where I was last night. It's almost 1 p.m. and the temperature is 15 degrees. So I guess we'll have another cold night tonight. Leaving the Afsal loop, you can connect with this road, which is the Sand River loop, and another Sand River. So if you continue straight, you'll do the Sand Rivers loop, and if you take to the left, uh, the New Field loop, which is a much longer route. It takes you all the way to the western side. What a nice kudu. And there are the females on the right. Yeah, beautiful. here 
here there's another one it says route number six on that direction and you cannot take route number six because it's closed the signs are messed up if you follow this sign you get to route number eight which is the one that i want to take but then suddenly Back to the main road and I'm going to complete the northern part of the main loop and I have the same feeling that I had this morning when I was driving on the southern part of this loop and it is that most of the animals are near this road and especially on the southern part all the big groups of animals that I saw this morning were on that area once I took the 4x4 route, basically didn't see much, only a, a group of uh, kudus and a couple of villains and some zebras. For me, driving on that area is particularly interesting. Another bad-eared fox, two of them. This must be the part for those animals, because I, I didn't see them yet until here, and I've seen four already. There's a fifth one on the left, this part of the park is really beautiful with those mountains on the background and the chance to see many different animals here uh, you don't have to drive much to find big groups of animals around this area here Fantastic view.
this stunning route through these beautiful mountains will take you to the main gate and out of the park. These mountain passes in the Corua, all, all of them are spectacular. So if a road takes you up the mountain pass, get your cameras ready because all of them are spectacular. And this was Karoo National Park, a really interesting park where you will enjoy the Karoo landscape, beautiful scenery and lots of wildlife. A park that definitely deserves one full day.